Hello, Brett Fiesta here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And also Tails this time, because that's who we're playing as. So, uh, in the last episode, a uh, series of episodes, we completed Sonic's story. Um, but not like fully completed, we'll get back to it. Um, so this time, I'm going to do a run-through of Tails, but I'm only going to show... I'm going to show the full first level so that we can talk about how Tails works. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to show off bits and pieces of places where Tails' path significantly differs from Sonic's. Yeah. So Tails doesn't even get a cutscene. We're just on Angel Island. No story necessary. You just got to go for it. Tails uses the same old sprite from Sonic 2, actually. Uh, but Tails gets the new ability of flying, uh, which is good and helpful because it basically lets us explore completely different paths that Sonic would not normally have access to. Nor the other one, the uh, Mr. Red, I believe is his name. Um, so whereas a lot of Sonic's paths involved like lower routes, um, Tails will be able to explore uh, to the north. Which is pretty neat. Um, one thing that is different, uh, well, one thing that's not different is that Tails can still collect the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, the Blue Sphere stages are not any different between the characters, so, uh, I'm not gonna show this. And there we have it. And no, I did not get it perfect. I definitely messed up immediately after I stopped talking. So no extra life, but we get Tails sticking his tongue out at us. Miles, should I say. Dorky name. Dorky jumping into a monkey. Alright. So yeah, Tails having flying basically opens up whole new areas that... Uh, Sonic could only dream of, uh, but you can't fly forever, because eventually you will uh, grow weary, and and you can only, I believe you can only fly out of a um, spin jump, so like off of this, yeah, you can't fly uh, from a bouncy uh, spring plunger thing. Not really a whole lot else to say, I guess. Um, Tails, uh, again, following in the shadow of Sonic, basically follows uh, the same story. So I'm not going to put you through the paces of all the special stages, I guess. Even though I'm going to want to collect all of the, uh, the things, emeralds, with tails as well, because, um, of reasons. Okay, here's one thing. Um, so tails gets the elemental shields, like Sonic does, uh, but unlike Sonic, uh, tails cannot use the special abilities, so tails doesn't get a double jump. Uh, or a fire dash um, because Tails can always fly and that's good. No problems at all. So yeah, I will see you uh, the next time there's something significantly different. How I'll judge that? Now in Hydrocity Zone, you can actually take a different path just from the start. Uh, you don't have to go through that water tunnel. You can just sort of fly over to here and explore somewhere new. I think this will give us some opportunities to get uh, special stages that were otherwise... Uh, 
just quickly passed over uh, when playing a Sonic. And there's other, also one other thing that I want to show off since I'm in the water level. Okay. Um, is that it doesn't really make sense to fly when you're underwater, you know? Um, I would hope that you would know. Ah, there was... I'm certain that the special stage was back down there, and I don't think there's a way for us to get back down. Ah! Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for us to get back there. We accelerated it too quick of a pace. Just take our time. I bet if we just go this way, we can probably get back. Also, maybe not fall into the water. Or, now we can. Now falling into the water is fine. Try to approximate, like, roughly where this... Ah, uh, hey! Oh, okay, so there was no special stage. It was just a... Just an extra path. Was it worth your time? Uh, you, you be the judge. Okay, I think there is one like here-ish. Nope. Oh, up. Okay. It's telling us to go up, so let's do that. Whoa, look at this! That's so many rings! That certainly is the secret! Yeah, they'll often put uh, for Tails just like a crap ton of rings in some sort of formation uh, as th in a high up location as a reward for uh, discovering the power of flight. Okay, I guess we did not find a special stage, but this is what I wanted to show off, is that uh, when you're underwater, Tails gets the power to swim. And also that this boss is much easier uh, as Tails. Because you can also get out of the water and not have to deal with the that nonsense. But also you can lose your shield because you goofed. Good work, go team. How about we do this one correctly, this time? I think that would be really neat. Because that way I don't have to show it off in like a... summary... uh... ending episode. I also want to try to find that area where you gotta jump. Um, because that would be probably best to do when we're moving slow like this. It's right here. Like that. There we go. Now we should be fine. Should be. Um, no further promises to be made at this time. Let's get this center area squared away. Because it is a series of squares. And that is the reference. Not a reference to anything in particular. It's just the how I usually end things. Because usually what I say is references. Um, Not like in real life, either, though this is real life, and I... I'm lost.
Ooh, I think we're getting perfect, too. Assuming that we can walk in a straight line. Perfect! Great! Get us some blue there. I like the color uh, matching that it did. And all it took was for us to take our sweet time uh, getting through Hydrocity. 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 All right, here's another path. This is right at the beginning of Marble Garden, um, where you're running down that super fast, uh, super steep area. Um, if you use Tails Flight like I did, then you can get to a, a completely different path. Though this guy's still gonna mess with our life for no reason other than uh, because he wants to, which is fine. As long as you're exercising what you want to do. Uh. Let's just take it easy again, because I would love to get some more of them. Uh. Um. Special stages. Though not before finding out where all the spikes on the ceiling are. Oh, this looks secret. Yeah! Okay, we found another one. Uh, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, this is the one uh, that's confusing. That's right. You remember the one. Because it's the only one we've seen before. But let's not get confused this time. Let's do it correctly. Um, so saith I, the word keeper. Keeper of words. Exactly. So, you can clear two if you're good, which, I mean, I am, so what? Alright, let's get this vertical path cleared away first. And then here. But now we gotta do two, two jumps. You gotta get that timing just right, or else it will wreck you. All right. And we are set. Now all we gotta do is just get right here and we're good. Just a bunch of walking in a straight line. Can we do it? Yep, I think so. So that's how it's done. It's not hard. It's just when you relieve the pressure of having to do live commentary for several hours straight, it it becomes not even a real challenge. Um, which in itself is a commentary on Let's Play as a medium for art. Sure. Oh, and we found another one. Just literally right next to this one. So here's number seven, actually. This one's tricky because they already, they partially complete the square. You know, circles already get in the square a bit. So um, if you want to get that perfect, you just got to uh, do it perfectly. You also got to get 
these ones tucked away. Um, so, you know, be aware of that. And they even make you, or they force you to do the jump sometimes. Okay, this is a pain, but we did it, and we can't go this way. If we want to get it perfect, we can't go that way. But we can go... Just line up our jump right. Alright, where's next? We want to save that line for last. I want to try to find that big square. It should be somewhere over yonder. Okay. I think there's one more of them big squares. Right here. Alright, that should be our perfect. Now we just have to find everything else. We've seen it all before, we just have to remember where it's at. Here. And then the two. Right here. Yeah! There's our sky blue. Tails got all the cast emeralds. We're super good. And two extra lives even, uh, because we did so perfect. Such perfect, many perfect. Wow. Unfortunately, as we didn't learn in Sonic 2, uh, but probably should have been discussed, um, whereas Sonic has his supersonic form, Tails doesn't. So, um, no reward for getting all the Chaos Emeralds other than um, the story. I guess will be complete. Uh, it's another problem uh, with playing as Tails is that I don't rem this new path uh, is leading me in circles. So let's see how that goes. Marble Garden Act Two is actually um, significantly different for Tails, I believe. Um, or it can be if you follow the right steps. So we discussed previously that there was this up dire direction um, that is Tails exclusive. I believe um, if you're the red one, you can get up here. Or if you are uh, Sonic with a friend, you can get up here. Um, but you gotta be, uh, you know, properly coordinated. Uh, with said friend, um, cause <laughs> uh, controlling the two of them together, it can be a bit challenging. Controlling just one of them on his own is challenging enough. Okay, now let's do this correctly, shall we? Nope. Oh, okay, we get a do-over. That spiky guy was about to poke our butt. Alright, now are we paying attention? We are paying... Though the momentum almost uh, did us a frighten. Yay, a shield. Let's see if I can find another special stage ring, because while there are no more special stages to be had, uh, at least not until we discover Knuckles' secret. Um, oh! Yeah, I should have known better. Up! Uh, but not up there, like up here. You probably get up to this point with the uh, drill platform dealio, but um, but we didn't. Gah. Always the worst timing with them. Oh, 
always the worst timing with them. It's all those spikes and stuff that make it less likely that it's a Knuckles path. Um, but this also seems familiar, like we've been here before. So I don't know how much of this was Tails specific. I don't know how much of this is floor beneath us. Aww. But I wanted that. That's fine. Oh, uh, let's not go... Okay. Where... Are we? There, okay. Hmm. Don't want it. If I can avoid using those drill platforms, if at all possible, I would like to. Though again, this seems familiar, like we've been here before. Oh, we gotta use the drill platform. That's a, a butt. We did all that exploration just for nothing. Oh, no, we are not. We're going this way, wherever this way is. Who knows? Sure feels familiar again, though. I wonder if perhaps I was mistaken about something. Um, if there really is another path. But I know there is, because there's a... Um... Hello, friend. We have time. It's not like the whole stage is collapsing upon us. Um. Not entirely sure what killed us there, but let's not let it happen again. Alright. Uh... Well, we made it here, so I may as well show off how this boss battle is fought if you're just tails. Um, with no rings even, because why make it easy on ourselves? It's actually a little bit easier with tails, because you can you have better control of yourself. So you want to stay kind of low and just kind of tap him with your tails a little bit. But also be careful because there are certain directions like that one where you can't really get a clean hit on him. And I mean, he's coming up from the bottom. Yeah, you gotta be real quick on the draw there. Because you gotta be careful of his afterburners and the drill. Those are... See? What did I just say? 
obviously not anything worth listening to, because I wasn't listening. But I did discover a secret up here. It's a lightning shield. So that will uh, objectively assist us in our goal, our quest uh, to be the best. Nope, we didn't- I wanted the shield, but again, I screwed the pooch. I wanted to get that quick hit on him. Because I'm sure you can- if you're quick about this, you can get two hits on him, but... I guess take advantage of that invincibility frame to- Try to get that. No, nothing doing. If you fall to the bottom, you'll just recover. Uh, like you saw in... So uh -huh. That's how it's done. Just stay calm, I guess. Try to avoid talking. That helps. <gasps> okay. Um, so that's what happens if you get a uh, special stage ring after you've gotten all the special stages is you just get 50 rings. Which you can uh, predict how useful that would be for someone like Sonic, who needs 50 rings in order to transform. Um, less useful for someone like Tails, who does not. Let's continue to explore for some upper paths here. Like that. You know, you get 50 rings and just throw them away. You pay paradise and put up a parking lot. So, let's just get 50 more. That's fine. There's a bunch of uh, special stage rings in Carnival Night hidden like that. Um, which makes... It makes it seem like Tails' uh, levels would be easier. Um, but... Then you get things like the Marvel Gardens boss, which are not, by any stretch of the imagination, easier. You can skip a whole bunch of the level as Tails by taking that path, as you just saw uh, illustrated in this documentary. I'm pretty sure if you're Tails and you fly at like the very beginning, like before the boss starts, there is a um, a shield or something you can get. Who knows? So here's what it looks like. We've gotten all seven Chaos Emeralds, so a completed-ish Master Emerald Shrine. You can see they briefly flash the right color. Um, well, we've already seen this one, so why not do this one? I'll definitely remember that in the future. This one's only got 37. This is nothing. But it looks like it's going to be mostly incomplete squares. 
We're definitely not taking the right path. Oh! Well, we'll see that one again later because uh, I am dumb. So once you do rescue all of the uh, Chaos Emeralds, all the special stage rings turn into hyper stage rings. So, you know, no need to waste your time. Um, let's try th this one. I briefly thought, like, maybe I should try the one that I failed at again, but, you know, try to save face, but my face is, it's long gone. No saving this thing. Okay. It looks like it's going to be mostly something. I'm not going to make any judgments here because I don't remember these stages. The end. Oh, no, I remember now. You gotta jump over the thing. Like so. And that's it. That's how you do it. It's not quite perfect because there are, I guess, other rings and other places. But we're not... And there's a hyper purple. I really like the color purple. Um, in Crash Team Racing, the purple like cup, the purple gem cup is like the hardest one to do, and it's I like it. I like the color. I like the I like the color. That's really the end of that statement. All right, let's do this one again, but correctly this time. We're gonna. There's a forward path clearly laid out for us, so we're gonna follow it and not try to go rogue. As the Star Wars might say, go rogue one. I. Joke? Question mark? Ah, that's gonna ruin our perfect, but. We're just trying we're just trying to get this done. Nope. We're not worrying about perfect here. But you can imagine what it would look like. Uh boy, would that be cool looking. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I guess this is where we're going now. Oh, oh okay. There's four missing somewhere. right there. Oh, we didn't even get 50 rings. So not even to continue. Hyper red. Though who knows if it'll actually show up on the capture. There are really quite a lot of special stage rings in the Mushroom Hill. I'm going to try this one because I definitely didn't fail it earlier and cut it out of the recording because I wanted to get those rings and I got all greedy and jealous-like of not having rings. Okay. Oh gosh! Um, okay. Shoot. That's tough. That's not the super hard one that I remember, but that one, if you're going for all the rings, it's tough. I guess that kind of saves 
I wanted to save some for Knuckles, so that's me doing that. I want another go at this. All right, this time let's not worry about uh, the rings. Let's just get get good. Walk in straight lines. That seems to help us. I imagine, yeah, it would be pretty straightforward if we just uh, made no mistakes. Yeah. Maybe this is the super hard one that I was thinking of. Because it seems like there would be... significant challenge to get in the timing of these... everything's just right. And to not make wrong mistakes. And to finish backwards, that... Super cool. Dark blue. Have you ever been alone in a crowded room? It's a reference to a song by one Jax Mannequin. I used to be super into that song in high school. It's a good song. But yeah, there's not... I was thinking about it, and there wouldn't be a whole lot of, like, Tails-specific paths, uh, because... These levels are all pulled from Sonic and Knuckles, which is a game that features prominently uh, Sonic and Knuckles, and not Tails is not normally playable in that game. So, but there was at least that special stage, which was I have no idea how Sonic would get up there, and Knuckles even would have a hard enough time. <clears throat> See, this seems like the path that would be uh, Knuckles-esque, except that you can, you would not be able to get through these as Knuckles. All right, let's see if we can do something like this. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get through there as Knuckles because of the spikes on the walls. So maybe there are some tail specific paths. Levels that would not be accessible to anybody until somebody realized, hey, there's another special stage. That's not what they realized, but it's what I realized and it's what I want. And I don't think there's anything up here. So like up here? That's definitely Knuckles can get there, but I imagine there's probably somewhere, maybe from here, because that's slightly higher. So if we're you know real efficient about our flight pattern, no, still just shy. Ah, uh, maybe I want to try this one more time because. Yeah, you can get a little bit more height off of a ramp, so maybe that'll help. Except I feel like we didn't have as much height as we did just jumping straight from here. One other tricky part is that um, it's the whole momentum thing with Tails. Uh, tails. We we're not getting up there. Like, jumping from there, you see or while you still have upper momentum, your flight gets you a real high. But if you jump from the top of your jump, you might already have downward momentum, so you're not gonna go as high. These are some hot tips for, for the thing.
One more for the road. How about... This one. Though now that I think about it, I don't know whether I'm actually still recording. Yeah, I am. That's good. That's fine. Alright. I mean, this cross here feels like something we want to save, so let's do just that. Ooh. But will we be able to get back there is the problem. We may have just walked ourselves right into a dead end. Bad end. I'm not sure what we did exactly there, but it was good. Perhaps even correct. Now how do we get out of here? Oh gosh! No, 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 no! Ah, bummer. That was... Just hit one wrong button. We don't gotta show that one off. Because I haven't synced everything up yet. I figure from this point out, let's just show the rest of the playthrough. No, let's not. So you can basically skip that whole stage. You don't gotta fight the uh, Green Hill or Metropolis Zone bosses. You just fly through the whole thing. It is the sky, after all, where Tails performs best. Just get us over to Metal Sonic and we will show him what for. Like that. So here we are at the final battle of uh, Tails' mission, I guess. I guess. I mean, it's not like I know for certain like, I've played this game many, many times before. This one is going to be trickier, because we don't have the Sonic Flash Dash this time, so we can't get those uh, multi-hits in unless we get good timing on our jumps here. Not like that. Like, better than that. Like that. We're also running short on time, because the first time you get to the final boss stage, it doesn't- it rolls over your time from Death Egg, so, uh, it'll be fine. I mean, two minutes to beat this part? It only took us, like, several lives to do it as Sonic, and this time we can fly, so... We just uh, take caution. I almost forgot to jump. You saw it. I uh, you saw it here first, folks. I'm in total like focus mode, because I haven't been talking for most of the playthrough. Which took about three hours, so that's if you're looking for a K 
casual run through of the game, how long it's going to take, there's your answer. Never before been compiled, so... There you have it. I agree, Tails. I also... Uh, exact same emotion. Okay, careful. No, boy. You can fly here, but it doesn't particularly help you a whole bunch. Alright. And this time, because we have all the Chaos Emeralds, we're going to take this Master Emerald with us. Because we deserve it. And the, our secret grappling hook in the back of the airplane that only Sonic knows about, even though Tails is the usual pilot, but whatever. It's Sonic's airplane because it's got his name on it. So... All right, do our congratulatory lap again. Or we'll just drop this off here. What? Who saw that coming? Angel Island is actually a floating island. And there's also seagulls and echoes. The dolphins. Echoes the dolphin, rather. Yeah, so it's something that I don't really get because it seems inconsistent, but the Master Emerald causes Angel Island to be able to float. Sometimes. Like, if the Chaos Emeralds are there, I guess, but they don't even have to be super powerful. Um, I don't know. It, again, inconsistent. But there we go. That is Tails' story in a nutshell. Uh, a one video nutshell. That's, um, again, like three hours of video for me to compile down into a digestible format. It's no big deal. So. I don't got much else. Um, we did a little bit better on the Chaos Emeralds this time. So that'll make it better. Because I'm also ultimately going to go back and get all the Chaos and Hyper Emeralds for... or Super Emeralds. I keep calling them Hyper Emeralds, whatever. <laughs> if it's not spoiled from 1994, then it's spoiled now. Um, yeah, I'm going to get that for Sonic and Tails and... <clears throat> and Knuckles. And Knuckles. Um, so. Putting in a decent amount of work on this project, I think. Shoichiro. Iri Majiri. Majari? I didn't read it fully. I just saw Shoichiro. Which reminded me of the anime True Tears, because uh, one of the characters is named Shinichiro. Um, and he's got a bug under his foot. That was another, that was an anime that ended all wrong. There's so many anime that end all wrong, like Harry Potter. That ended incorrectly. They forced Ginny onto Harry, and it makes no sense. It does not make any sense. They have hardly any lines together. So I... Pfft. What do I know? Just a person who has been compared to Daniel Radcliffe for almost a majority of my life. In fact, by almost, I mean actually. So Tails can fly, which we already knew. Hello. You seem angry for some reason. Not exactly sure what that foreshadows, but... Mm. Oh, 
I cannot last you. I'm not pressing no buttons. And I'm going to pick up the controller. I wonder if my stomach growling picked up on the recording. Anyway. So in the next episode, video set. Oh, his, this is Tails. I'm not sure if this is his just regular or after you get the, all the Chaos Emeralds. Who knows? 10 continues. We did much better as Tails. But in the next episode, we'll be starting Knuckles' story, which is different and has a lot more different paths, so I'm going to be doing every level as Knuckles on recording, on commentary, on Dasher, on Blitzen, on Knuckles, and Knuckles, and Knuckles, and Knuckles. So I have been Knuckles. Thank you very much for Knuckles, and I hope your chuckle goes exactly as Knuckles. Knuckles.